Now, one of the ways we waste our money is through impulse buying. Do you all know what that means, impulse buying? Lift your hand if you know what it means, impulse buying. All right, good. Um, Some of you have this urge come upon you when you walk through Bass Pro. I've seen you. The enormity of it all, the attractive display, the macho feeling in that place. You just can't get out of there uh, with one lure. It's going to have to go bigger than that. And the more you walk around, the more you buy. And some of you could care less about Bass Pro. But oh, the shoe store. Ooh, the shoe store. Miss Marcos has nothing on you closet full. You had an impulse buying. Some of you, it's not that. In the closing store, it's over the accessory counter. And some of you, it's not that. It's the options you add to that $25,000 pickup that turns it into a $60,000 pickup. It's impulse buying. Right there, within 30 minutes, you doubled your investment. And for some of us, It's Sam's Club. How many of you belong to the same club I do called Sam's Club? Card-carrying. I am a card-carrying Sam's Club guy. I'm just, I'm glad you weren't there yesterday when I went shopping. Uh, I always go to the same place and park at the same place so I can fill my SUV up without getting lost in the parking lot. Then I pull out my card. It's always in my wallet, 24-7, 365. Uh, I walk in the door. I show it. And for some strange reason, I always get a cart. Now, I want to show you how Karen gives me a list of stuff to buy at Sam's Club. This is her list. I'm going to read it to you. Sam's Club. Foil, aluminum foil, big box. Item number two, Splenda a box of packets. That was my list. (laughs) You know the feeling? Yeah. So I want to sort of show you how it went. (laughs) You cannot go into Sam's Club if you're Tim Walker without taking a hard turn to the right as soon as you walk in the door. A few years ago, they had these 32-inch TVs to die for. And then it went to 40. And then it went to 42, 50, 55. But when I walked in yesterday, 60-inch TVs. I did not impulse buy, but I did covet being in that part of the store, I walk down by the computers and everything related to computer. I like to do that, know what's happening, know what's the newest, but I resisted temptation. However, I did pause, and I found something that, well, I can't find it now. <laughs> Let's see, I'll find it later. Uh, as I begin to go down the, the place, I'm looking for two things. You remember what they are? Aluminum foil and Splenda in packets. Not the bag. Don't ever bring home the bag if Splenda is requested. Don't ever bring home the packets if the bag is requested. Out in the middle, I see some seasonal things. Now, if you're an impulse buyer... You buy this. These are Starbucks mugs. They are really cute. There's a little bit of everything. Perfect gifts. And if, you're seas- if you go through the seasonal section, you know from last year's experience, which is embedded in your mind, if you don't buy them when they're out at Sam's, they won't have them next week. Last year, I was going to buy a really affordable hibiscus tree, Sam's. I went back to get it. Five days later, cleaned out cost me three times as much at the nursery as they're going to buy me. I bought these suckers. These are going to really be good for somebody. Now, I'm always we go for paper goods. We have a room in the garage for paper goods. 
Um, last year, by the way, we like this particular one, Vanity Fair premium napkins. They're really smooth, okay? Last year, they didn't have these for a whole month, and we had to use those rough kind. <laughs> so I got the third sleeve of these to take home. And let's put them over here and see how this goes. Okay. Oh, here they are. I was so glad not to leave the office supply section. I like that section too. Uh, these are the F301 original Zebra ballpoint pens. Now you can't find these everywhere, but at Sam's they have them in large quantities. The reason I buy these is because Karen taught for many years before she retired and she always had to have a Zebra 301. That's the only pen she likes to write with. Well, she retired two or three years ago, but in an act of love, I have replenished her pen supply with nine. Until the day she dies, she will be writing with zebra pens. And then I head back toward the back on the way to the paper. And I need some fruit. Now, I'm the only one in the household that eats this particular kind. This is in a little container, cute little container. It's half price. There are 16 servings of fruit in every box. So I get two. <laughs> I really learned that when I was a missionary in South America. We worked with the Motilon Indians, very primitive group of Indians. Everything they saw, it was new, whether it was candy or a T-shirt or anything else. So when we ever, whenever we gave them something, they had learned this phrase that still is my philosophy. Mejor dos. Better two of them. Rather have two. So I usually get two, and Sam's knows that. Here is a large strawberry jam jar, two 32-ounce containers, and grapes. I love the grapes from Sam's. Karen was going to the grocery store at the same time I went to Sam's. She went to HEB, and I, she said, what do you want? And I said, I want grapes. But just in case she forgot them, I got plenty of grapes. I'm back in the laundry section now. In the laundry section, we seem to always need Clorox too. On the way, there is a container of, or, uh, a display of duct tape. Now, I, I ran out of duct pa tape last year sometime. I use, it takes me about five years to use up a roll. So, until I die, I have duct tape. Call me if you want duct tape. Going around the corner, we always buy Ozarka. You can never have too much Ozarka in Midland. Whew. I wish they would reduce the quantity of bottles. And just a few steps down, Red Bull. Um, and all of a sudden, I remembered two or three years ago, no, it's five or six now, when I was preaching multiple services, uh, somebody asked Adam Hamilton, who wrote the Enough series, how he was able to preach seven messages every Sunday. And he said, this may not be true, but it's what I heard. He said, between the services, I have a pint of water and a can of Red Bull. So... We just have two services here, so this will last me half the year. Let's see. Oh, and out toward the middle. I made a mistake. <laughs> My car is six years old, and... Karen and I swapped the other day, and when she got into my SUV, the battery was dead. So, it's, uh, one of the staff members likes to grind their own beans to make coffee. I want to be a good staff leader. Oh, here's some more seasonal stuff. Dum Dum Pops. If you don't get these now, you may not have them. 
because Halloween is happening Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights this year. <laughs> medications, you always make a couple of moves down medication. A decade's worth of Tylenol. And I can't figure out yet why I picked this up. It was a cute, I mean, you get three, three bottles, not just one of Prevacid. I don't even know what that is, but somebody must have a lot of heartburn. Okay. Oh, this is kind of special. It's here. This is a, a roaster. And a couple weeks ago, Karen said, in making plans for Thanksgiving, that this year she needed to cook the turkey in a roaster. And we don't have one. But then she said these very enticing, seductive words. Like your mother had. Ha ha. <laughs> so, we're ready for Thanksgiving. And on the way to the Splendor, I passed the dip lock zo double zipper bags, 216 bags. Now, why would I do this? Because two weeks ago, when I came out here, I tried to go through the line with gels and liquids, and they gave me a really cheap Ziploc. So I'm ready now for 216 flights. Oh. Foil <laughs> and splendor. <laughs> I'm not finished. I'm ready to check out, and it dawns on me I bought all this stuff and I forgot Rocky. Rockies are wonderful, brave miniature schnauzer and I went back to the pet section and I didn't need all those things huge sacks I couldn't even carry them and some ugly toys so I went to the toy section of the store and I got our dog a toy take home <laughs> And wouldn't you know it, some of our church members were doing the same thing and said, Hello, Dr. Walker, what are you doing? I handed over my Sam's Club card. I looked with guilt at the post-it list. And I was shocked. Three hundred and fifty-three dollars and fifty-five cents. Now that is what I'd call impulse buying, wouldn't you?